This is going to be a joy. I can't wait for this comment section. This is a very spicy topic for you today. Well, I say spicy. It's not that. Well, at least to me, it's not spicy. To other people, it is very spicy. This is like a full on pepper for some people. But for some reason, I don't know why. So I'm going to talk about the PS4, the Xbox One and the Nintendo Switch in a very civilized manner. Look, even the logos, sorry, it's mirrored. Even the logos are all there, ready to be, you know, seen by everybody. I'm not, a, I'm not on a team. I am not playing for the PS4, the Xbox, or Nintendo Switch, because I'm all about diversity. I'm all about variety. Variety is the spice of life. You know, why limit yourself to one flavor of ice cream? Although I love mint the best, so my point is invalid. Right, so I'm gonna go through these consoles, tell you my thoughts. I know it's like super old now, but I figure they're coming towards the end of their life cycle. Well, the PS4 and Xbox is at least, Xbox One. But I figured, Considering what happened yesterday with the um, the Xbox conference and everyone's crying about it and having a go and saying it's really shit, I thought it was fine. Um, I just thought, you know, thought rather, I just thought I'd give my opinions on which console I think is best and give my thoughts on, if someone said to you right now, which console would you think is the best, I'll give you my reasons why and, you know, which one I rec would, rec yeah, would recommend. I don't know, it's just a topic I want to talk about. So, uh, let's start with... The PS4. So, the PS4, in my opinion. Um, the PS3, I was not a big fan of. I, I hate it. I still hate it now. I hate the PlayStation Store on the PS3. It's a fucking disaster. Every time I load up my PS3, it's like a glitchy mess. Seriously, everything's so jittery. It's... I don't, I don't understand. I don't, it could be my PS3 that's fucked up. But I, I, don't, I don't know why it would be. I mean, it's in fine condition. And it's been like that for a long time anyway. The PS3 store is so laggy, nothing, you can barely click. I was, I was trying to buy like a PS1 classic a couple of weeks ago. And I couldn't even fucking, you know, navigate it because it was just laggy. Oh, it was, it was a disaster. So after PS3, I actually, weirdly enough, I wasn't going to get the PS4 at launch. I got the Xbox One at launch. Um, the PS4 I was going to hold off on. So I was like, I need to stop buying all these consoles when they come out and just kind of wait till they're a bit lower in price, whatever. But knowing me, you know, I ended up driving around and trying to find one and I did. So I got a PS4 in the end anyway on launch. Um, <clears throat> but I, I was not a fan of the PS3 controller. It used to hurt my hands a lot. So that's also one of the reasons why I was a bit more, I was a bit more lean toward the Xbox for the, the start of the console generation. Um, but the PS4 was a great surprise. The graphics were fucking great. Like when, it, when I first saw it, you know, when I first played it, I thought they were actually better than the Xbox in my opinion. Um, and it also had some really good exclusives and some good shit going on in it. Even though I, I will say I had a bit of a pause start with Knack and all that stuff, but one thing that PS4 definitely has is exclusives. And I think that's one of the biggest draws for it. That's definitely what they're going for for the PS5, which, you know, is completely fine. And that's the biggest reason I play my PS4. Um, I love the PSVR. The PSVR is great. If you're on the fence about, P about VR, I think the PSVR will change your opinion. I was so uninterested in VR, honestly, I was like, VR is annoying, it gives me headaches, I feel sick, I'm not interested in VR. PSVR is just so easy to set up, you just plonk it on, bada bing, bada boom. I got it for Christmas one time, um, so like, you know, I didn't go out and buy it, I got it for Christmas, like, okay, why not ask it for a Christmas present? Because like, I usually ask for Christmas presents when it's stuff that like I'm on the fence about. And yeah, um, I, I fell in love with it, I love the PSVR, I'm always buying games on it, and it's funny because I, I kind of go through stages. I have stages of like a month of all I play is VR and then I don't play it for a couple of months and I have to do the same. I kind of hop in again. Um, but it's just great. I love VR and you can watch YouTube on it and stuff. It's really cool. So the PS4 <coughs> is definitely great for, I guess, more like the hardcore gamer. Do you know what I mean? Like you're there to play all these exclusive games that are on the PSVR, uh, on the PS4, PS4 and PSVR. You know what I mean? Like that platform that is. Do you know what I mean? It's all about exclusives, all about games that you can only play on the PS4. And I think that's, for me, the biggest draw to it. Like, you know, when I play a four-player game, the PS4 is the last thing on my on my list. Um, I haven't got enough... Con well, actually, I've got four PS4 controls. But I don't know, I just find the... Um, there's something about the PS4. I don't know what it is. It's just me as a person, personally. Um, the PS4 and even the PS3, I, d I didn't play a lot of multiplayer games on it. There's a few games on the PS4 which is pretty cool where you can connect your phone. I played a trivia game and some other stuff. That Those are cool games. I like those a lot. Um, that's good for you know multiplayer and party games. But I don't know why. I just find the Xbox and the Nintendo Switch more my preference. Especially the Switch, which I'll get into in a little bit. But especially the PS4 Pro. I love the PS4 Pro. 
and it's got Final Fantasy 14 on it. So I've been playing my PS4 a lot recently because I've been back into Final Fantasy 14. Um, and yeah, I love the PS4 Pro. I think it's great and it doesn't, it never overheats or shuts itself off, which again, I'll get into with the Xbox. <laughs> um, it works perfectly. And again, I love the VR. So it's a nice bit of kit. It's, you know, it's stable. Everything works. And you can, there's also some really good sales that happen on the PlayStation, which is great. I'm not a big fan of Play PS Now. PS Now, I don't think is that great. I hate the whole streaming thing. Um, if you could download every game like how the Xbox Game Pass is, then fine, it would be fucking great. But I don't like the streaming stuff. Because um, half the games I want to play, they're all on the streaming service. Because I always tend to buy, uh, you know, the... Because the, unlike Xbox, the I'm pretty sure the exclusives aren't available on PS Now at launch. And they have to stream them anyway. Um, and then games like Deadly Premonition and some PS2 games want to play, like Ape Escape. They, you have to stream them. And I'm just like, hmm... Fuck that. I mean, Angus are playing Deadly Premonition. I mean, that game is amazing, but it's a mess anyway. So I didn't notice it as much with the lag and the delay on the stream. So <clears throat> it didn't matter as much, but I remember trying to play Castlevania with Angus, actually. Uh, it's the one that was on, was on Xbox 360, I believe, and PS3. And it was like an, an online multiplayer one. But we played that uh, local, which was a disaster because the screen obviously goes out. You're like a pixel. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever played that game. And um, yeah, but then if, if my connection dipped for a second, there's just so much lag and the quality went horrendous. I hate that. I really hate that so much. I hate when games have uh, latency issues and I hate, you know, I just hate lag and I hate pixel pixel pixelation. So for me, PS Now is a bit of a flop at the moment. Um, but yeah, I, I still I love my PS4 a lot. I love all my consoles. Like I said, I'm a man of variety, diversity. I like all my consoles. But yeah, I'm definitely playing my PS4 the most at the moment currently because I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV a lot. And I recently played Last of Us 2. So um, yeah, I've been playing my PS4 probably the most recently. That's that's for games. So leading on to the Xbox, I go in order here. Xbox, I would say, is kind of like... And I'm not, I'm not like super biased. In case you're like, oh, Xbox fanboy. Um, for me, Xbox, is just, it feels a bit more like home, if that makes sense, just because. It's really dark, isn't it? I've got no lights on, I'm sorry. Oh, whatever, I have, have to have the low quality darkness decks for today. Um, oh, fuck's sake, hold on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so the Xbox One, um, I got it at launch, of course. I had the big ass bulky one. I've got it down there, actually. Um, they're fucking massive, aren't they? Like, they're not good to look at. They're huge. Like, the, the redesign's way better. Um, but the Xbox One, when it came out, I loved it. Um, I actually preferred the dashboard when it first came out, as opposed to now. Which I thought was, you know, it's kind of weird, because you think it'd be the other way around, but... Um, yeah, for me, like, the 360 was kind of... Because I was, before I got the 360, I mostly just stuck to Nintendo stuff. Because my brother, I'm a twin, by the way, in case you didn't know that, I have a brother, twin brother, and um, he used to get the PlayStation stuff, Sony consoles, and I would get the Nintendo stuff. So I would get the uh, the GameCube, he got the PS2, I would get the Wii. Um, actually, after that point, actually, after the Wii, actually, yeah. That that was why I swapped to the Xbox 360, because I was like, I want to play GTA 4. Then I really got into next-gen gaming with, you know, Gears of War and all that stuff, and it completely blew my mind. So I was like, what? Voice chat on Xbox? You know, it was a whole new different thing for me. Um, but just, 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 just a disclaimer though, <clears throat> I do own an original Xbox now and I play loads of cool games on it. I, I've got the PS2, the GameCube, like, so it's not like, like all of a sudden I went into the PS4, Xbox, whatever, and then I'm diverse. I had, you know, I was always like that anyway. I just wasn't as well off, I guess, back then. So that's all I could really afford, like buying a Wii, whatever. And I bought, I, I, I bought a PS3. What am I talking about? I used to work at a game shop part time. I bought a PS3. I remember because I had to save up and I got a pre-owned one. Yeah, I had the big bulky one. What am I talking about? Yeah, I got a PS3. Whatever. Um, we're not talking about those consoles though. Consoles though, talking about these ones. So the, for me, anyway, the Xbox, I love the controller. I've always preferred the, the controller of the Xbox to PlayStation, apart from the PS2 and the original Xbox, big ass bulky one. Um, they obviously made it smaller, which I, I really like because I actually play a lot of games on my original Xbox at the moment. Like we bought some party games, SpongeBob, like ca camera action pants or something, know what that is. Played that just before lockdown actually with um, a girlfriend and a family. So like, I like taking that console and just bringing it over and I got loads of cool party games for that. 
that's a great console just to plug it in and you know there you go boom and plus the wires are really long so it's way better than the um the gamecube for party stuff at least with like in that sense anyway god i'm getting on tangents aren't i i'm very sorry the xbox one yeah i prefer the controller always have prefer the controller i was a bit lukewarm on the xbox one controller i'll be honest when you know it was still first launched but i kind of warmed to it and got used to it and for me, what, why I say it feels like home is because that's the console that I tend to buy. There's a third party game that's coming out and it's on all platforms. I tend to buy it for the Xbox One, although these days actually now I think about it, I tend to buy it for the Switch now. Um, but before the Switch came out, I'd always get it for Xbox One. Um, just because I prefer the controller. And I also like that I love the dashboard with the game library or it has everything there. I think it's really easy to navigate. Um, and I also use it for Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, you know, all that, all the YouTube, all that kind of stuff because I think it has the best out of the three. It has the best interface for, you know, the apps like Netflix. You can just move left and right, and Amazon Prime and stuff. Uh, the PS4, I really do not like the the buttons on it. The rewind and whatever. I think it's even the PS3. I've never, and even the PS2, I've never liked the buttons on the DVD Blu-ray stuff for Sony. I think they're just really shit. Whereas Xbox is way better for that kind of stuff. So I guess like, if we're talking about actual usage, I guess maybe Xbox tiny bit more. Although again, I've been playing my PS4 a lot recently, but you know, just now I've been watching Netflix while I have my food. Um, so, you know, I do use it for all that kind of stuff as well. The one thing that Xbox for me recently um, has kind of elevated it a bit in terms of, cause I was a bit like, oh, I was gathering dust a little bit. I don't use it that much. Um, as Game Pass. I think Game Pass is honestly the best thing to happen to gaming in a long time. I really do. PS Now, again, it, it's a, it's a same concept, but it's just not executed as well. Game Pass is fucking great. I, I went on just now, I went on and had a look, see what games were on Game Pass, just to kind of give you an idea what's on it. And I was like, what the fuck? You got Final Fantasy 9 on there, Final Fantasy 15, Kingdom Hearts, all the Kingdom Hearts, Dragon Quest 11, they just added all the Gears of War games, all the Halo games, all the Fable games. Um, I wrote some more down. Got Ninja Gaiden 2, I love that fucking game. Metal Gear Solid Collection. Like, all these kind of awesome games that just reaches a, be a, a wider audience now. There's so much good shit on there. And because it's not that much money, I, I forgot how much it is now, but it's not a lot. And you can also play games on the PC. And it's cross-compatible. I mean, it's just great. I, I really think if you're if you're a gamer who's like... It's sort of said to me right now, you know, oh... Uh, I, I don't know, like... <sighs> Like PS4 exclusives are 60 quid, right? 50 quid, sorry. And that's fine. Like, I don't mind paying 50 quid for fucking, you know, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't even mind paying 50 quid for Last of Us Part Two because even though I thought the story was a bit of a mess, I did like the game. I still enjoyed it. And Ghost of Tsushima as well, I'll probably get that. But Game Pass, I mean, so it's really hot in here. A game comes out on Game Pass and like there's a game called Carrion that just came out where you play some like weird monster. Apparently it's on Game Pass. I'm like, oh. Great, that's fucking awesome. You know, you pay how, how much it is. You know, it's, it just rounds out really nicely. All these games that I'd probably buy, it just appears. Like, oh, sit. Like all the Kingdom Hearts came out recently on it, and I'm like, oh wow, cool. I've got a chance to play. I never. I, I didn't want to buy the um, the disc version of those those and download them because they're, they're always so expensive. Um, but yeah, it's just free. I'm like, oh okay. Well, I say free. I'm still paying for the subscription, but you know what I mean. It's. There's so many games on it. I also love the backwards compatibility with the Xbox 360 because I have a lot of 360 games. There's a lot of 360 games that hold dear to my heart, like Infinite, uh, fuck, uh, fucking, uh, 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 Lost Odyssey. Sorry, not um, Infinite and Discovery. That's still a good game though. I think, is that backwards compatible with that? Maybe I don't know. But 360, like, was probably my favorite console ever. Honestly, I really like 360. Um, but. Yeah, I just, I, I I love the whole backwards compatibility thing. Plus you can play original Xbox games on there, it's great. I think like Xbox kind of encompasses, you can play loads of different things at any point and you know, it's more accessible, it's more casual in a way, which, yeah, that's cool, man. Like I said, I'm like PS4, hardcore gamer for sure. But I got my PSVR, I got my goggles on, I'm doing these fucking things, got these exclusives. Xbox has exclusives, cool, yeah, and they have, they have some good exclusives as well, but it's kind of like the, the, the all-around utility, at least for me. Um, the downside is, I actually got <laughs> Microsoft very nice and they gave me um, 
the two Xboxes I actually have, the Xbox One S, they actually gave me the Gears of War Xbox, which was great. I guess that was before they realized that my channel was so dead. <laughs> well, they actually sent me stuff for some reason. I think that, oh, they obviously know now because they didn't send me anything. But uh, they sent me an Xbox One X as well, which I was very surprised at when that happened. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm an influencer, I guess. I have a following. But I got that uh, Xbox One X, which was great, and it gave me loads of free games as well, which is really cool. So props to Microsoft. I, I used to have a good relationship with Microsoft, actually. I used to chat with them quite a bit. They were cool guys and gals. Um, but regardless, there's something like Xbox One X. But the Xbox One X, even though it looks amazing and stuff, like when it actually works, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know if my one is defective or something. Or someone else can tell me, but even even when I bought a fan for it, it overheats and just shuts off. So I can't even play my Xbox games in 4K anymore. I can't play uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Well, before I deleted it because fucking updates are doing my head in. Um, it, I could play it for an hour and it'll go just overheat. It's so loud, just it turn itself off. Devil May Cry 5. Basically, any game which was like 4K enhanced, it would just turn itself off after like an hour. It overheat. Um, so I have to play my games on my Xbox One S in just 1080p because I can't play them in 4K because it just fucks up. Um, sometimes I'll play games upstairs, like it's upstairs now that Xbox, but I don't, you know, I don't really play that one anymore. Because what's the point? Like I could just literally unplug that for two seconds and take it upstairs, and there's my save files on it and whatever. Everything's ready to go and download it because you got to download the game. I, I always buy my games uh, digitally now, and even if even if it's on disc anyway, you got to download the fucking update. So. Um, yeah, so that's a big downside for me is the, I don't know if it's just my Xbox One X, if it's defective, but the Xbox One X, not good. It overheats and it's just kind of, it's pointless, my one. I can't even, I can play 4K games maybe for like a couple of hours, but I don't know when it's going to turn off. It happened on, um, you know, Call of Duty a few times, it happened on Devil May Cry. There was one game it did it on, but it was the last straw for me. I was like, fuck this. I forgot what game it was, but I didn't save for a while and it just went like, Phew. I was like, oh, God's sake, I'm not risking that anymore. So I started using my... Gears of War one, which is so great. I love that uh, Xbox, but yeah, so hasn't really got amazing exclusives, I'll be honest, especially the last few years. I mean, even Sea of Thieves, I was not a fan of, even though everyone, everyone seems to like that now for some reason. Uh, like Gears, the campaign on 5 was great, but I haven't really stuck with a multiplayer. But I also think the gaming landscape's completely changed, you know, like Halo and Gears didn't have as much impact as they did really anymore. Um, I actually like free to play models and stuff, so I don't know. Um, that's my opinion on the Xbox, so that's just like good and bad traits. Again, like I said, I'm not trying to pit them against each other. I'm just telling you my good and bad traits, giving you an overview. This video is already so long, Jesus Christ. And we go on to the Nintendo Switch, which I rhymed. I think it's a weird one because, well, I say it's a weird one. It's definitely the most accessible by a long shot. I love the Nintendo Switch because I can just be playing a game, like Paper Mario recently been playing it, and I have, I have a dock upstairs and downstairs. Also, just real quick, off the bat, um, why do I say off the bat in that context? Anyway, there's a really cool dock you can get, and it's like £30, and you can, you can power it by USB, and it's fucking great, you guys should look into that. Just look for like a third party USB adapter for the Switch, and you can carry it around, like I took mine on holiday, and it's like a little tiny thing. And it's great, man. You just plug it in a USB, boom, bada bing. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, instead of having to pay out like, you know, 100 quid for another dock. That's what I did originally. So I got like four docks now, but. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it's just great. I can play a game, but like, oh, screw it. I'm going to go upstairs, pick it up, boom, go upstairs, plonk, get into bed, play it. Like, it's just so simple, so easy. Especially when it comes to multiplayer games, man. You know, I was playing Trivial Pursuit um, with a girlfriend and her family last weekend. And, you know, my girlfriend's got a Switch as well. Bring my Switch round. You know, I put it in her dock. <laughs> That's what she said. Put it in the dock. Boom. And I go, all right, pass me your Switch. Take out her two controllers. And I just go, blip, synced, blip, synced. There we go. We've got four controllers. There's yours. There's yours. Done. Little tiny things. I mean, it's so easy. So fucking simple. And it's just the, it's the obvious choice when it comes to party games. I mean, there's... Mario Party anyways, loads of cool shit. There's loads of good party games on there anyway. Um, I'm gonna video call, but I can wait. This is more important. Um, so yeah, party games, all that kind of stuff, it's great for. 
Mario Tennis. It's just saying, it's got amazing first party games like Zelda. Honestly, I would say just buy a Switch for the exclusives anyway. Just Zelda, Mario, Paper Mario, Smash Bros. I mean, there's so many good games, even though at the moment they've kind of, you know, stilted. There's not that much coming out, which is, you know, eh. But when it comes to the games, I think they're a bit unmatched in my opinion. I fucking love Zelda and I love Mario. I love Smash Bros. I, I love that shit. I also have like a lot of good indie games on the Switch because the Switch has so many indie games and they also have so many good sales. Um, and I always find myself just buying like little random indie games and giving it a shot. Which I probably wouldn't do as much with the PS4 and Xbox. Like, it's weird. It's like the Switch doesn't discriminate as much, if that makes sense. They kind of treat every game as it's kind of equal in a way. Like when you go on recently released, it's all like, you know, has all these indie games. I don't really feel that as much with Xbox and PS4. I don't know, it just seems a bit more accessible when it comes to that stuff. But yeah, the Switch is great for exclusives, great for party games, and great for just taking it around everywhere. Like, obviously, you can just take it with you on a holiday, and it's just fucking awesome with that kind of stuff. Um, the downsides, there's no Netflix on it. There's no, like, no apps. It is so bare bones when it comes to that kind of shit. It's got the Super NES and the NES uh, entertainment thing now, which is really cool, and I do like that a lot. But I mean... Compared to the Wii U, I mean, the Wii U could download the N64 games, Game Boy Advance games. I actually played my Wii U, like, last year, or maybe, like, late last year. I played it loads because I bought all the Castlevania games, the Game Boy Advance ones. So I found myself playing my Wii U more than any console uh, last year at one point, more than the Switch. Because of, you know, stuff it has to offer. I don't know why the fuck the Switch doesn't have all that stuff. It, it's, it, it's baffling. It's missing all these apps, all these cool things you can do on the, on the Wii U. I mean, I don't understand. Like, it's kind of like the PS4, though, with the PS1 classics. Like, why would you not have those on there? Unless they do now, I don't know. Last time I checked, they didn't. But yeah, the Switch is very bare bones. Obviously, it's not as powerful as the Xbox and PS4, and it's going to be lagging behind now a lot when it comes to the PS5 and, you know, Xbox One X. But at the same time, though, like, if the game's good, it doesn't bother me that much, which, you know, the Switch obviously has amazing games on it. So... Yeah, it's, uh, I guess, like, if I had to kind of categorize them, I'll say PS4, get it if you're someone who wants lots of kind of exclusives and stuff that's only on PS4, and there's some PS2 classics. You've got PSO, PS Now, sorry, rather, if you really want to, you know, play some old classics, but a bit of a hindrance, I think. Um, PSVR is such a big thing on that, and I love the PSVR. That is a huge, po like, selling point for me. And then, yeah, so it's just a great hardcore gamer kind of console. Xbox is more like, hey, here's like the whole package. You know, you've got all these games, backwards compatibility, all the apps work well on it. It's kind of like the central hub in a way, I would say. Um, even if you don't really use it for gaming, I, like I tend to find, I just use it for the apps and stuff. So it's definitely more accessible, more for kind of casuals, I would say, even more so than the Nintendo Switch, honestly. Xbox, I'd say, is more for a casual gamer if you just want to hop on and just like, you know, Oh, I'll pay fucking how much it is for Game Pass. I don't even know how much it is, like a tenner or something, maybe even less. Um, and you know, I'll just hop on and play some games, whatever. Um, whereas Nintendo, Nintendo's ideal for party on the go, of course, um, for like little indie games and discovering new kind of experiences. And obviously the exclusives on there are fucking amazing. So uh, Nintendo games are great, like Mario and Zelda and all that kind of stuff. So all in all, I guess my point is, after going through everything like that, my point is, is that they're all great. All three of these consoles are amazing. And I don't know why everybody seems so I don't know, adamant on trying to pick sides, picking them against each other. I mean, in the day, they're all just trying to do the same thing. They're, all just, they're giving you the same thing, but in a different way, different experiences. And I don't know, what's the point of having a console war? Does it fucking matter if the PS4 has a few more exclusives than the Xbox? No. So what? Does it matter if the Xbox has Game Pass and has all these fucking games that you get for free and the Switch and PS4 don't? No, because the PS4 can make up for it with the PSVR and ex 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 exclusives. The Switch can make up for it for its little indie games, its sales, and also its first party. And not to mention you can take it around. Like, there's pros and cons for everyone, and it just depends on what you want to get out of your console. So if you're a hardcore gamer and you play a lot of games by yourself, especially VR kind of stuff, and you're interested in VR and you've got a bit more cash to spend, I would say, because PSVR is expensive and the games are expensive. PS4 is your best bet. Xbox One, if you want to, uh, something that's, you know, obviously get Game Pass if you get an Xbox One. You know, hop on it, try loads of different games, out experiences, it's kind of like, I'd say, it just kind of does everything. You can just play loads of games that you never got a chance to play, backwards compatibility, all that kind of stuff. And the Switch is definitely, you know, if you're somebody who, 
I don't know, like when I was a kid, I had divorced parents, so I had to keep going back and forth. Switch would be great for that because you can just play it on the move and take it with you, whatever. Like if you're like someone like that, for example, has to move around a lot or you're traveling a lot or something. Um, I don't know why I gave that one specific example, but you know what I mean? It's very good for on the go. It's also very good if you're a very social person. Um, someone like me, uh, they have like boys nights, have everybody over and you fucking play, all play Smash and do tournaments or you, you know hop on Trivial Pursuit, like whatever. Um, Switch is definitely the best for that kind of thing. Even though the Xbox One, by the way, can have eight controllers. Did you know that? I didn't even fucking know that was a thing until like last year and a bit. Um, but even then, it's that's a nightmare to set up, whereas it's way easier with the Switch, you know? And there's just a lot of the mini games are a lot easier. But yeah, they've all got their own merits. They've all got their good shit. And that's what I got to say on that matter. I love all the consoles. Lots. And I'm looking forward to buying it, like future consoles, man. As for my favorite console of all time, I will say I do like the GameCube a lot. I love that the style of it. I think it's really cool. It has some really good games on it. Plus, I'm also biased because I had some great memories with that console. Playing Smash a lot, etc, etc. Um, my least favorite console... Hmm... I'd probably say the Wii. Like, I, I loved the Wii when it came out and I still do like it. But I mean... Jesus, it wasn't even in HD. Like, I, I played some games on it recently. I went to uh, a shop and I bought loads of crappy, like, you know, games for 79p and all these bollocks. And we played through them and did drinking games with them. This was before lockdown. Um, and they're all shit. Like, some of the shovelware and stuff. And there are some really good gems on the Wii, but compared to, I think, at the time, the PS3 and the Xbox 360, I think the Wii can really compete as much. That's some great games like Twilight Princess and... Yeah. Super Mario, Super Mario Galaxy, all that kind of shit, which is wonderful. Well, Punch Out on the Wii, one of my favorite games of all time. But yeah, I think just it's hard to kind of go back and play that particular console as much. Plus, I hate motion control. Like, I can't go back and play Skyward Sword, for example. I just fucking don't want to wave my sword around and that's Wiimote, rather. I just can't be bothered with that shit. So, bada bing, bada boom. Leave a comment down below what your opinions are on each console. And if you have you got a favorite console ever, Leave a comment down below and give me your reasons why. And if you watch this whole video, props to you, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> why would you ever want to watch all this? Who knows? But have a nice day and I'll see you next time.